breaking news on ABC 17 News at 5. State leaders continue to push to reopen the Missouri economy. This as the state reaches a new milestone in reported coronavirus cases. Governor Mike Parson also wrapped up his daily response briefing in the last 90 minutes. ABC 17's Molly Stawanoga is live from the state capitol tonight. And Molly, state officials say even though the virus will still be here, the economy can't wait. Deb, that's right. Though they want it to get back to levels of success we saw before the virus hit, they say it won't look exactly the same. Now, the director of economic development, Rob Dixon, said the virus is on the same coin as rebooting the economy. They see COVID-19 as a way forward out of the economic crisis. Now, that means they want to ingrain social distancing and good hygiene in the long-term business world. Governor Parson also said part of the recovery plan includes new temporary jobs as a response to the coronavirus. These are occupations that may have not existed without the pandemic in areas like healthcare, contact tracing, and even grocery delivery. The big thing is no job will look the same as it did before. But Dixon said that does not mean Missouri should have to wait until this is all over. We're going to have to learn how to safely and responsibly conduct business in this era of the new normal that we're facing. In the next phase, we're going to continue to drive forward by increasing the resiliency of our state. And that's because we can need to continue doing business even before vaccine is ultimately developed. Now, Governor Parson today also announced a $1.3 million grant that's going to help the workforce recover from COVID-19. Coming up at 6, I'm digging into where that money is actually going. Reporting live from Jefferson City, Molly Stawanoga, ABC 17 News. All right.